Hi, I'm Teresa Barbell from the Florida Barbells channel, and I am here with you today with another stroller review. This is a 2012 Up a Baby with a rumble seat. I also have the bassinet, and I just wanted to do a review for this. And I know it's an older stroller, but I know that a lot of people buy strollers used. I get strollers used, and when you're asking yourself what's the pros and cons versus a high-end used or a new, brand new, lower-end stroller. I just want to give you a full review so you can make a good decision because a stroller is a bigger purchase and since you can get this stroller for two or three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars max used, it's a really good option. And I just want to show how well it works and my thoughts, I definitely would go with a used up a baby rather than a new Graco or even Flow. The durability and the overall make of the stroller is just so much better. So here we go. So just so you can see how it fits, this is when I don't take it apart fully. There's the rumble seat. The rumble seat always has to come off. So that's kind of annoying. If you're looking for something that's really quick, um, the rumble seat is quick to put together. And you can see it snaps super easy. And the rumble seat just goes in. You slide it from underneath. You just tilt back and it locks in place. And both seats have a really nice five point harness. The tires, really nice. You never have to pump them. I know with the instep strollers and some of the jogging strollers you do, you can jog with the stroller. I have jogged with it, it's nice. You can lock the front wheels with one click. You position them in the direction that you want them to. They click in, they click out. The sunroofs on both the strollers are removable. You can remove them here and they come right off and can go in the back. It turns really well. It does not have a cup holder. Again, I always show this on my stroller reviews. This is my Skip Hop neoprene stroller on top because there is no cup holder. And I don't know why that is. They put these little clippies on the side right here so that you can buy an additional cup holder. So this is extra. This is my handlebar. Um, I will show you. It telescopes pretty far so that if you did have a kid, you could put a extra little seat right here and then take this off and, it, and your toddler could stand. So that's really nice. Um, this is the snack bar edition. So this little piece, this piece does come off and you can put the normal little bumper bar here. But the snack bar is really nice because look, you can take this off and wash it. It has a little silicone place for their cup and kids like the snacks. So um, it's a super nice addition and it does snap in there real tight. This is an extra. This is the pad that helps to make this comfortable when it's hot because this fabric does not really breathe. This just gives it an extra comfort level. And again, you have a really nice five point harness. This is a hood that comes down, has a full UV and this really cute magnetic vent so you can see your child. I don't really like the plastic ones because they tend to come apart. So this one's nice and it does have this little roll where you flip it and it stays so that they get plenty of air. And the rumble seat has UV just built into the hood and it snaps. The rumble seat does not recline. So if you wanted a reclining rumble seat, the 2012 does not recline but the frame of this stroller is killer. If I was considering a used up a baby, I mean, if you've got your kid climbing on it, a lot of times they're gonna climb. They're gonna climb in and out of this themselves. They are not gonna fall. They're not gonna dump this stroller off because it's built like a tank. It has a ton of weight in the back, a ton of, so that if you're hanging something, you're not worried about it flipping on your child. And that's really important when you have two kids, you're getting in and out. Um, the basket space, is pretty good size. It has a nice sturdy bottom at the bottom with the netting. And then if you come up on the front side, this really cute telescoping piece, there is a spot for a water bottle and another spot for a purse. And it has a spring so that if you push it or something or it gets caught on something, it doesn't break. And this little telescoping little footrest is nice. My son likes it himself. He can actually adjust it because it's that convenient. The shocks are really good. The shocks are built in right here so that if you hit something and bounce, it's really great. The brake is one foot snaps on. 
and one for it snaps off. And the thing about it that I like is it's easy, but it is only one side. So it's not a double-sided brake. The later strolls have the double-sided brake. You can flip this up and this seat comes off really easy. Push down, pull up, and it's free. So this is the super cute bassinet top. Um, so it kind of turns it into like a little pram. And this bassinet is has its own little UV shield and mosquito net, which is nice. It can zip on and off. And it has all soy organic bedding. And it snaps right into the base where your stroller top is. Pad your other piece and your toddler seat can stay here if you want it and so you can still fit two it is a tight fit but you can still do it so the bassinet unhooks with one flip and it lifts off really convenient you can put this right next to your bed in a little bassinet holder you can also turn it around if you want it like a formal prom and snap it right back in. It's only practical for about three maybe four months because as soon as your baby can start pulling itself up, it's done. You can't use it anymore and it's done. You also cannot use this if you're jogging because it is not sturdy enough, it's not safe enough. It does not have a harness or anything, so this is just your walking at a slow pace. So I do tend to go with the tops. I tend to prefer this as soon as my child can sit up, I go with a top that can, in fact, snap in and be fully secured. So I think that that's really important. The front steering on this, you can see how it turns. The turn radius is not as smooth as I would like. There's not as much front shock as in other strollers. So if you're looking at a 2012, the front shocks aren't as good, but if you're doing this for a daily driver and you have already used a Chico double, the Chico long double, this is a dream. Like it just moves so much better and so much smoother. I can show you just, you turn it around with one finger, it's fantastic. You have this little zippy place in the back right here. So it's got a little secret compartment if you wanna put a phone or something in here, which is nice. And it also, this, bottom seat can lounge all the way back if you've got a tired baby you're in Disney or anywhere else fully lounges back you cannot I, use the front seat this yes I would not use this front seat with this facing this way I would definitely take it and make it rear facing so with the rumble seat in you really can't recline it because you would hit your other child so it is just a very moderate half recline if you have the rumble seat in place and that is still tight so i would not say if you're planning on doing a lot of reclining that you would want this stroller set up on the upside it is a smaller footprint if you're looking at the bigger strollers it's smaller than a fill and ted's it's smaller than the brit xb ready it is tight it is small and the stroller arm goes even tighter so you can fit this in a standard sedan it comes apart in all different pieces and comes to itty bitty and flat whereas the other strollers do not so good option if you're looking for a used stroller i recommend it get it up a baby over a lower end stroller you'll be really happy the bassinet's a nice addition if you needed a bassinet anyway so i hope this helped you hoped it helped you to decide and if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments below and I have other stroller reviews. I do a lot of them, so take a, take a look. And if you see a stroller that you would like a review on, let me know, maybe I can grab it and do a review, let you know what I think. I've had this one about a week now, so I get a chance to really experience it. Thank you for watching. I hope you're holy, happy, and healthy. God bless.